Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Sarah Football. If you're new here, you know what to do. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. I hope you're enjoying your morning. I hope you're enjoying your afternoon or evening, wherever you are. We're in a new week, and today we're talking about the Nigeria Super Eagles. I've seen that Jose Becerio announced on Twitter that his contract with the NFF has expired. His statement didn't identify if he's leaving his role like if he's not interested in coaching nigeria anymore he left the door open in case the nff want to renew his contract he's open for that but obviously he's going to be more expensive than before because we know that he took a pay cut in his previous contract uh, to coach the nigeria super egos now if you want to sign him again no way he's going to take a pay cut he is now a hot cake because he took nigeria to the finals of the Africa Cup of Nations. So, Jose Bezero is no longer the head coach of the Nigerian Super Eagles. Now, Ghana is without a head coach, Nigeria is without a head coach. But today we're talking about Nigeria and we're talking about coaches because when I posted the news about uh, Jose Bezero leaving the Super um, Eagles a few months ago or a few weeks ago, most of you wanted the Nigerian Football Federation, the NFF, to appoint a local coach. So today we're talking about the five local coaches who who can replace Jose Pesero as the new head coach of the Nigerian Super Eagles. The first person we have here is Emmanuel Emunike. You know, Emmanuel Emunike is very, very experienced when it comes to coaching national team. He led Tanzania to the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations and he's currently unattached. He could be the man to lead the Nigerian Super Eagles, but I don't know if he is interested in the job. But obviously, anyone called, any Nigerian call to lead the Nigerian Super Eagles will feel it's an honor to um, coach the national team. So, is Emmanuel Aminike your man? Is he the person you feel will lead Nigeria to glory? Because we have the World Cup qualifiers coming, we have the friendly games coming. Do you think Emmanuel Aminike is the man? I would like to know your thoughts in the comment section. The next coach we have here is. Augustine Iguavon. Hmm. Most people don't like him because of how um, his team plays. They play with no identity, they play with no confidence, and sometimes they are being, you know, playing with fear and all that. If you see the way Nigeria played against Ghana in the World Cup qualifiers, you, you understand why most people don't want Augustine Iguavon to come back to his post as the Nigerian. Um, Super Eagles head coach. He's currently the technical director for the Nigerian Super Eagles, the NFF technical director, and he might be an option for the NFF if they decide to appoint him on interim basis. I think reports stated that they're considering appointing him as a head coach for interim basis for the Nigerian Super Eagles role, but most people don't like that. Most people are not happy with that news because Augustine Iguafon crossed nigerian world cup dream in qatar nigeria should have been in qatar for that world cup but augustine guafon actually stopped them from you know going to qatar for the world cup so do you think augustine guafon should be the person to lead nigeria in the next coming games especially the world cup qualifiers i'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section the next person we have here is samson siasia the last video i posted most people were talking about samson siasia samson siasia but the truth is that he's still banned. He was banned a few years ago, five years ago, for uh, manipulating the results of games and all that. FIFA gave him a five-year ban from all football activities. And that five-year ban is ex expiring August this year. Something CSR will be allowed to engage in football activities this year. That is when the ban will expire. And do you think the Nigerian... Um, the Nigerian Football Federation, the NFF, should wait till August and give Samson Siasia the job. Is he the man to lead Nigeria to glory? We know that he has coached the Super Eagles before, 2010 and 2016. And he didn't do all that bad in, during his time. Do you think he's the coach that should lead Nigeria after the sack or after the departure of Jose Peseo? I'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section. The next coach we have here is Salisu Yusuf, former Kano Pillars and Aimba coach. He worked as assistant for Guinness Raw, Samson Siasia, and Stephen Kesh. He's very experienced when it comes to the national team. He has worked for as assistant for three good coaches and he's very, very experienced. Do you think he is the man to lead the Nigeria Super Eagles after the departure of Pesero? I would like to know your thoughts. Salisu Yusuf was in charge of the local 
Nigerian national team and they were supposed to qualify to the African tournament, but he couldn't do that. I think I, Ghana beat them in that game. Making them qualify would have actually boosted his pedigree and he could have been one of the persons or one of the names in line, but you never know. He could be <laughs> the next person in line to be the Nigerian um, Super Eagles head coach. I would like to know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think Salisu Yusuf, the former Kanu Pillars and Aimba coach, is the person to take over Jose Pesero? Put that in the comment section and tell me what you think. Then lastly, we go to Fini the judge. I think he is probably the most qualified or the most suitable person for the role because he was the assistant of Jose Pesero at this just ended Africa Cup of Nations. He's seen what needs to be done. He's seen how Nigeria play. He has seen what didn't work for Nigeria at the just ended Africa Cup of Nations. He is probably the most qualified. We saw that he led Aimba to the um, league title last year, the local league title. Aimba won the league last year and are currently the league toppers in the Nigerian Professional Football League right now. And he has been one of the best coaches in Nigeria in the past year. So I feel that he is the most qualified right now. I'm not saying it's my, it's my choice to take over Pesero. I'm telling you that based on his achievements in the past few years and his experience in the past few years, he's probably the most qualified to be the next Nigerian Super Eagles head coach. I would like to know your thoughts. Do you think Fini Di George is the next person or they should be the person to take over Jose Pesero as the Nigerian Super Eagles? Eagles head coach. Tell me what you think in the comment section. I would like to know your thoughts. It would be interesting to hear what you guys will have to say about who you feel will be the next or who is suitable to be the next head coach of the Nigerian Super Eagles. So we talked about Augustin Egofon, Emmanuel Aminike, Samson Siasia, Salusi Yusuf, and we ended with Fini the Judge. These are all five local coaches I feel should be considered. That's if a local coach is to be named the next head coach of the Nigerian Super Eagles. These are the five local coaches I feel should be considered. And there's also option to appoint another foreign coach. I would like to know your thoughts. Which foreign coach impressed you that is currently unattached that the Nigerian Super Eagles should actually go for? We saw some coaches, foreign coaches, some good foreign coaches in the just ended Africa Cup of Nations. They resigned after they couldn't uh, meet their targets, most of them because of their targets, most of them personal decisions and all that. Which coach do you think will be good enough? That's foreign coach. We have talked about the local coaches. Now, if your own opinion is a foreign coach, which foreign coach do you think will be good enough to actually handle the Nigerian Super Eagles after the departure of Jose Pesero? Then lastly, there are some people who want Jose Pesero to be maintained. The Nigerian Football Federation should call back Jose Pesero and improve his contract and make him the head coach of Nigerian Super Eagles again. Are you sharing that same thought? Should Jose Pesero return to his post at the Niger- as the Nigerian Super Eagles head coach? I'd like to know your thoughts. Put that in the comment section and tomorrow you think. So that's all for today. Subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell. We talked about possible replacements for the Nigerian Super um it goes head coach after the departure of Jose Peso. Subscribe. My name is Clinton. Till next time guys, goodbye.